Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we worked on getting all of the belts laid out to get all of our electronics products that we are currently making out to our loading areas and ready for pickup. So that is all taken care of. We are going to need one more loading bay eventually for the, for the next set of electronics. Once we actually have those available. But. Everything's good to go. We're just going to let this run for a while and fill in all these warehouses. So. Yeah. That just needs to run. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be working on the next facility, which is going to be for making batteries. And one of the things we're going to need to support that is a lithium production facility, which we don't have yet. So, we're going to need a couple of things. Um, I just need to find it. So, what we're going to be eventually making is lithium-ion batteries. And so we're going to need uh, lithium cobalt oxide and lithium perchlorate. Now, I think those are the only thing we use that for is lithium-ion batteries. And apparently need carbon as well, which yeah, we can do. Cobalt oxide. Hold on. Cobalt oxide. We're going to be, need a bit of a processing facility here. And there is no... Well, you can make it from mud, but you don't usually do that, making the uh, the viscous mud water. Okay. So that's a, be a bit of a thing. All right, and we're also going to need the lithium perchlorate. We're just going to need lithium chloride. Lithia water. Uh, we also need this lithium here, which is also lithium chloride. We need the lithium water, which is done. By taking thermal water and processing it, and it produces purified water as a byproduct. All right. So, we would just need to decide how many of these we're going to need. And we need them for high-tech science packs. And for my 10 per second high-tech science packs, I would need five per second lithium ion battery. So I think what we'll do is we'll scale this for the time being for 10 per second and see if the numbers look reasonable. Uh, 
let's see, 15 assembly machines, nine electric multipurpose furnaces. Let's see, the thing is, I don't know if I have those. Electric multi-purpose furnaces. I don't have the Mark II. Okay. I don't have the Mark IV those I don't have the mark four of those I do have the mark twos electrolyzers okay I don't think I have those oh excuse me I have electrolyzer threes twos All right. Yeah, numbers don't look too bad. We need 200 per second purified water. We're producing 937.5. Okay, so we're going to want to probably put that in a byproduct. Well, we'll probably want to get a train that'll force that into the... Let's, let's pin this. Pin that? Okay. We'll eventually want to get a train that'll move that purified water uh, into the ore purification system, because that's kind of the thing that really is thirsty for, pur for purified water. Which I should have. I know that I have a loading bay. That does that. Somewhere. Well, I'll find it. All right, but the thing we're going to need is we are going to need. 1,563 per second thermal water. That's quite a bit. And so, we need to find out what that's going to be. Ooh, had to, had to sneeze there. All right. So... We have this, which I think I mentioned before. We have this source of thermal water, and that's pretty much our only source at the moment that we can really access. Uh, there is a big deposit over here, but we would have to do a lot of clearing of nests, which, as you may remember, is not exactly going to be the easiest thing to do these days because of the, you know, ridiculous biters that are now out there. So, like, what's the output here? 1,250%. This is like, what? 4,800? Yeah. There's bunches here, here, but again, all these nests would have to be cleared. I'm not entirely sure I want to be under, you know, going through that kind of undertaking right now. So... But that is the eventual source that we're going to want for these, so... Well, we'll do what we can. All right. 
So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get access to that lithium or that uh, thermal water. But let's get ourselves up there. Here we are. How many of these do we actually have? We have five. Okay, so I need thermal water extractors, five of them. And then we'll lay them out. Probably create a local buffer tank with pump and then we'll figure out them from here all right let's get them all covered by a substation there we are substations gonna need to be hooked up to some sort of power oh, there we are all right we're gonna put our tank here All right. Actually, uh, let's see. So that's going to go in there. Um, Not exactly sure how much that produces.
Now he's going to create another tank. Add that in. So we have multiple outputs if we want. Okay, so... I need to get that loaded on a train somewhere. I think over here is going to be our only real option. Okay, so... I think I am going to run a double line. Just to make sure that I have the throughput. Yes, not gonna make it all the way through there. Just gonna move that. All right. I think we might need to bring these south a little bit. Should still be okay on this line. Let's see through there. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think this is going to have to snake around a bit more. This thing is, I don't know if I have room for that. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I put still not enough room there. Let's see, if I were to bring this through there and get onto this line here. I might be able to get all the way through, which I can, okay. It's not as far as we're going to want to go. We're probably going to want to go up to there. There we are. We managed to get ourselves through there. All right. Okay, so. We need a loading area here, which we need to disable this. Am I going to have more than one train? Most likely not. Most likely we're not going to have more than one train. So, I can use one of these. Though this is going to be somewhat different here. And put that loop back on there. Now, this is all in construction area, right? 
Um, for the most part. Now, those are going to be flipped around because we're going to be loading into the train rather than loading off of the train. Now I just need to find a source of power. That works. And we're going to call this uh, Thermal Water North. All right. And there we are. Per second, 188 per second, 183, 178. Yeah, this is not going to be enough to supply the facility we're going to want to build. So we are going to need this. So I'm going to have to think about how this is all going to work. And uh, maybe working towards getting that, this area, exploited off screen at some point. All right, so we're gonna have to schedule this for at least two trains that are gonna bring in the thermal water to this facility. Now we're just gonna need to decide where this is gonna be. Which is basically where our battery facility is going to eventually be. And... Let's see. Okay, yeah, this makes resin. Methane gas. We don't seem to be making enough of it. I 
think this is all for liquid resin, right? Mm. All right, well, I'll make the final decision about where we're going to do the lithium processing um, in between episodes. It's most likely going to be down here somewhere. Um, that is the most likely scenario. We do have a lot of area up here we can utilize. I'm definitely thinking it's going to be down here somewhere. And if it is, I may be able to mooch off of this cobalt ore a little bit. If I can bring it over here and kind of create a battery production facility over here. That might be what we want. Okay. So we will get to work on that next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.